Hi everyone. I have a full house and um, I'm so grateful. It's so fun to see all of the the girls, um, you know, just, just interacting and, and uh, doing their thing. So if you hear some things in the background, that's why. Um, but Demi is going to be joining us this morning. We're so excited to have her. She's here. Awesome. Good morning. Hi, everyone. Well, she's... Good morning. Well, she's joining. Oh, hi. Good morning. Okay, so you're from California. Where are you right now? It's in Midwest. Ohio. Ohio. Okay, okay. So yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi. Okay, I'm trying to fix my camera. This is... I know. Re there we go. Yeah. It it readjusts to then you know. I'm gonna do yes. Um, well, thank you. Thank you for joining us this morning. Um, I wanted to go ahead and just ask for prayers for all those who are suffering with COVID um, and, and their families. And you know, I, mean, I feel like a broken record, but like, you just want to want to pray for them all. I want to pray yeah. quickly for Ed and all those, those intentions we hold close in our hearts. Is there anything specific you'd like to pray for? Um, our community has been hit hard with COVID this week too. So I will join you in those uh, prayers. Um, also just for uh, protection over marriages and families mm -hmm. and for those who are struggling with hope, just for those who are in a dark place. Yeah. Yes, yeah, <laughs> beautiful. All right, we'll go ahead and get started. <laughs> okay. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from whence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For an increase in the virtues of faith, hope, and charity, we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The first joyful mystery is the Annunciation. The angel Gabriel announces to Mary that she has been chosen to be the mother of God. This child, Jesus, would be the fulfillment of the promise made to King David, ruling forever and for all nations. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second joyful mystery is a visitation. Upon hearing the message of Gabriel, Mary proceeded in haste to see Elizabeth. Why did she go with such speed and purpose? Because she had found her mission, her role in the great story being told by God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. 
The third joyful mystery is in the tomb. Mary and Joseph arrive in David's city, and their child, the Word made flesh, is born in a manger. This is not a sentimental tale, but the commencement of a great struggle between the powers of the world and the power of Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth joyful mystery is the presentation in the temple. Joseph and Mary bring the infant Jesus into the temple, the dwelling place of the Lord, fulfilling the prophecy that the glory of Yahweh would return to his temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary. Is this the last one? Hail Mary, full of grace. One more after this. <laughs> Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth joyful mystery is finding Jesus in the temple. After three days looking for him, Mary and Joseph find the young Jesus in the temple. Jesus said, did you not know that I must be in my father's house? Conveying that familial emotions must give way to mission. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who've trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, the eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit 
of thy womb, Jesus. O Clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, by your only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant we beseech thee that by meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Do you want to pray the St. Michael prayer or do you want me to? Sure. Uh, St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl around the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. I meant to add as an intention, you know, just hearing the March for Life and everything was, Yes. Um, I meant to ask, you know, for prayers for all those in an unwanted pregnancy mm -hmm. or in crisis pregnancy that, that Jesus sends his best friends, um, because I think uh, that, you know, that can really help and, and change their hearts. So anyways, I meant to do that. And the girls were like coming in and out. That's so funny. I could not hear them. I heard them maybe once or twice. Did not see them at all. They just oh. wanted to pray. <laughs> okay, good. I was like, I had them join me. That would have been so fun. I don't know. If they... <laughs> Anyways, am I pronouncing your name properly? Is it? It's is Dini. It... Dini. I'm so sorry. Oh no. I don't know. What did you? I didn't even catch if you said something different. Oh. I see, it and I think, I think Demi. Demi. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I I get both so often. I. It's no big deal. <laughs> no, it's beautiful. Um, so do you care to kind of share your rosary story? I heard you're a convert. Is that I am. I'm a convert. And um, when I was on a couple years ago, I think I had shared my first rosary experience, which was very rocky and like in a group of people. And I was totally unprepared, had no idea what I was doing. Um, and I didn't really have a... Um, a super miraculous rosary story, you know, and or a, even something super significant tied to a specific um, time. Um, but the rosary had just sort of slowly been um, uh, become like a steadfast part of my faith. And I, um, it was one of those things too. Mary was one of the hardest things for me to wrap my head around. And I really, and I'm someone who wants to understand it completely before I jump in, right? And I really just felt prompted to start praying it without fully understanding yet or understanding her. I didn't really have a hard time um, accepting like the church's dogma around Mary and her te the teachings around Mary. I guess I just didn't understand what the relationship with her our relationship with her was supposed to be, right? I just, that was the communion of saints, Mary, that was just not something I grew up with. Jesus, Holy yeah. Spirit, you know, the three of us were, were tight. Um, but Mary and the saints, yeah, <laughs> totally, totally foreign. And I would hear people talk about Mary and their love for her. And honestly, I had this fear, like this childlike fear that if I did start leaning into that relationship, that it wouldn't be reciprocated, that I wouldn't have that same experience. It really was, you know, the, the evil one can mess with your head, right? And I think that was just a way to, he was keeping me from turning to our Holy Mother. So um, I just really felt called to do it anyway, right? Pray it anyway, just start. So anyway, all that to say, that was my, <laughs> introductory to coming to the rosary but I've been praying it fairly regularly for the past few years and um, I realized when I was thinking about coming on here I hadn't really shared this story yet and um, I think uh, so our youngest daughter was diagnosed with um, leukemia blood cancer when she was four so that was about three years ago and um, <clears throat> during you know, one of the beautiful and heartbreaking things when you're going through something like that or carrying a cross like that is that you're immediately connected to other people who are going, walking a similar road, right? So I think, um, and along the way, you know, we're all praying for a miracle, right? We're all praying for a miracle for our children. And 
God doesn't always answer those prayers in the same way. And we know several families who have lost their little ones. And so I think there's this level of sensitivity too that um, sometimes we're hesitant to share the good things that God has done because we're sensitive to the ways that maybe he has answered another family's prayer differently, right? But I realized I also have not praised God for the incredible things that he has done during that time and especially through the rosary and through Mary. So sorry, that was like the longest introduction to this rosary story ever. <laughs> Please keep going. No. <laughs> so um, <laughs> we, um, when we first got that news and we were first given her diagnosis, which was completely out of the blue. I mean, our world just came to a standstill and our, we have a wonderful community here that just rallied around us in incredible ways. And they, of course, set up, you know, like a meal train, ways to care for our family. But dear friends of ours also set up a, um, a prayer chain so people could sign up to pray the rosary for us. Mm -hmm. um, and I can't even tell you that when, like those first two days, I've never experienced this before. I just, I could not pray. I could not form words. I could, I'm someone who grew up without all the rote prayers of the church, right? And so normally when you can't pray from your heart, you turn to those rote prayers and I couldn't even do that. I, but I would, I would just grab my rosary and I would just hold the beads. That's, that's about all I could physically do. That's about all my spirit could do. But we felt the prayers of our community. Like I know that this is an analogy. I'm sure that's been used quite a bit, but when Moses, you know, his hands are getting tired. He's raising them, praying over the battle and Aaron and her come up and hold his hands up because he's getting too tired to hold them up himself. That's literally what we felt through our community. And um, I don't even know how many days, weeks, months, I think we were covered by the rosary and we could just literally feel the Holy Mother's mantle surrounding us through that time. And I want to be careful to say to you, like our, those two years of treatment, two and a half years, you know, were not a walk, walk in the park by any means. There were some phases of treatment that were much harder than others, but this is all just one thing, right? So anytime, so for her in particular, if she were to spike a fever, anything over, I think it was 100.8, that would be an automatic hospital admission for us, right? So we'd automatically be in the hospital for a couple of days and which can just, I mean, it just throws off everything, all the dynamics in the family, right? Because you've got to have one parent with her in the hospital. You have, we have three other children, you know, in right. our family. And so we know so many families who would be in the hospital for weeks, come out for a week, be right back in, right? For, I mean, you never know. So in the two and a half years of her treatment, she spiked one fever. One fever, we were in the hospital for three days. Like that doesn't even happen with my healthy children, right? My healthy <laughs> children don't go two and a half years without, you know, getting a fever or something like that. I mean, and every time we just hit a point where um, we really, there's just, there's different phases of her chemo that we went through. Some were much more um, difficult and straining than, than the rest. It just felt like um, there was a point she was just not eating the steroids would um, there was one phase where she was just all she wanted to eat was Chick-fil-A nuggets. And I, I should have bought like, I would buy like the bulk thing of chicken Chick-fil-A nuggets because I couldn't right. afford to go drive through every day. I just bought the big frozen bag that you can buy for parties. And mm -hmm. I was so I could pop them in my oven for her. And then there were other days, other phases of treatment that she wouldn't eat at all. She had no appetite and, um, or it would just come right back up. So she was um, right to the point where we would be like needing a feeding tube or whatever. The rosary just, I felt like our blessed mother just came, something broke through, you know? And so God was incredibly faithful to us during that time. Our Holy Mother was just, it was just such a um, difficult, but a holy time for uh, for our family. It really was. There were so many little miracles along the way. And um, during when she was diagnosed at the time, I had my shop, I had a little Etsy shop where I would make, um, I was making wall rosaries and liturgical garlands. And so of course, our whole life came to a standstill, you know, if, uh, when she was diagnosed, but after we got through some of those harder phases of treatment, 
um, I reopened my shop, you know, doing a limited amount of what I had done before. And I had Liv home with me, Olivia is my daughter's name. So she would, and she loved being in the shop because there was all kinds of felt balls. So, you know, oh. we would just be my shop being, you know, the guest room in my, our house. So that was what I had set up as our office. But mm -hmm. um, so, uh, but after it was a lot and I, after a while, I just kept feeling um, like the shop was taking up so much of my time. Even if I would put limits on my physical time, my mind was always thinking about it. And so I tried to make some changes, cut out some products that were really taking a ton of my, like just sucked the time and energy out of me, but that really didn't make a difference. And I, so I, I wondered if it was time to close the shop. And I, I took that to prayer and was really trying to discern what, what God wanted me to do. And I was praying the rosary um, and asking for our ladies guidance. And in a moment of prayer, I heard her, I have never heard her speak this clearly to me before, but she said, um, Demi, you have honored me with this work, but you will not be able to step into what's next if you hang on to this. And it was like, okay, it's time to let it go. Um, and it took a couple months for that, for me to close out the shop. I had just invested in a lot of in inventory. So it took a couple months for me to actually close it out. But, um, a couple weeks after I did, the position that I'm in, the person at our parish who was our um, the director of adult faith formation, he retired. And I knew about this um, because my very good friend is the youth minister at our parish. And she was on the hiring committee kind of telling me how it was going, but I could not get this out of my mind, right? And um, I have... I have never thought just working outside of the home never at this point did not seem possible or like a good idea. Like Olivia was still in the middle of her treatment and like, but I really felt pressed to apply. And so I applied on, I didn't know it, but it was the last day they were accepting applications. <laughs> and then I went through, um, and let me, <laughs> sorry, this is like the most spaghetti story ever. Um, going back, like, this is just how God works, how so many times God uses stuff um, that doesn't come to fruition until years later. So I had gone to um, my to the University of San Diego on an ROTC scholarship. I was in the military. I did not know what I wanted to study. Um, and I really like had a, that was the way the timing worked out. It was I kind of had to go to that college, which was a Catholic university. And I was not Catholic at the time. But some of your base requirements are to take some religion courses, right? And I really enjoyed them. And so I ended up graduating from there with a degree in communications and a minor in religious education because I had taken enough of those classes, which ended up, you know, <laughs> 20 years later working out for me. Um, so anyway, I was hired as the director of adult faith formation. And um, so our, we have a parish and then we have a school where my kids go and the, most of the offices are in the parish, but faith formation offices are in the school building. And Olivia was going back to school this year. Like this was the year. So this happened in the summer, that school year, Livy was going back to, to school and it was a COVID year. So parents were not allowed in the building. Like previously you could go in, you could volunteer, you could be at your kid's party, you know, whatever. Parents were not allowed in the building, but my, I was hired and my office was in the school building the year that she would go back to school while she was still on her treatment. And I had this beautiful relationship with her kindergarten teacher who would call me and be like, Dini, she's complaining about some pain in her legs. I'm going to just send her down to you and see what you think. So she'd come downstairs to my office. Sometimes she just needed to see me. And other times it really was, okay, I can see you're done. You know, like we need to head home for the day. And my pastor is so supportive. Um, he said to me when they hired me and offered me the position, Dimi, you're a wife and a mother first, and I want you to be able to keep doing that. And I mean, I could have just bawled my eyes out. I mean, it is all just God's hand in all of it has just been such a gift and in completely unexpected ways. And our blessed mother has just been there the whole way. <laughs> so sorry, that was like the most. Ooh. Oh no, but it's story so ever. 
Well, it just shows the current and I don't know, current, but of the Holy Spirit, you know, in how I think, what is that? The light and the shadow. I, was, I don't know. I, there's so many phrases for it, but I don't know how to describe it, but it just exemplifies how God is always at work, you know, yeah. where, where, where sorrow and, you know, difficulty and, but if the, tr you know, and then the trust and surrender, uh, grace abounds. And, and, and like, look at like, it's just, it's, it's mind boggling how um, the Holy Spirit works. <laughs> and like, I know, isn't it crazy? People, yes, it's just so beautiful. I mean, it's beautiful even doesn't begin to describe it, but it's just, I, you gave me chills when you, you told me you got the job. It was in the school, you know, for, for living. It's like, <laughs> what? I know I could not, I mean, Right. Well, and God's ideas are so much better. Like sometimes we can't even think about how something might work out. Right. But we're so limited in our humanity and our, you know, God has, um, yes, God uses everything, anything, everything, things we can't even exactly kind of think about. And I feel like your story, it touches on the book of Job and in the innocent suffering, you know, and how in all those chapters, <clears throat> God expounds on, on you don't understand the infinity of, of the plan and, and just how everything interweaves and um, yeah. provide that hope. Because I think like when you're in the midst of, I can't even imagine, right? Like, it's, you know, you're in the midst of that and it is so difficult, you know, especially, um, you know, hey, like hanging on. I just, yeah, it's just so beautiful. I think you sharing your story and how, um, you know, it, it's in your endurance and just seeing the beauty. <laughs> I, I will tell you, those are the times that you don't feel like you have much endurance, right? And it's just... Right. But that rallying of, of your prayer, uh, is it the prayer 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 chain? Like, oh, yeah. I mean, the people that were lifting us up that we, mm -hmm. when we couldn't, you know, I mean, it's, it's yeah. powerful. It is so powerful. We want to do that. We we keep thinking, like, how could we do that? You know, because um, I think we've all felt, you know, lifted up and covered in prayer. And it is mm -hmm. powerful and how it changes the trajectory. And even just bringing strength to your heart. And, oh. uh, you know, it's just, it's amazing. I mean, do you have any, it, like, I, you're walking it. So I'm always, like, in those families who have lost, a, you know, their child and, um, like, just ways to help them. Do you? I will say, um, okay, so this is, and this is just me. Everyone, you know, processes information like that differently and grieves differently. Mm -hmm. um, so even when it was first happening, I think everyone just rushed in and wanted to help, right? And even at the hospital, there are so many resources now, right? But mm -hmm. it was all, I mean, they handed me literally a textbook on leukemia and binders full of like phone numbers and people and resources. And I could not process like, I mean, you've just told me that my daughter, I mean, she was at that point, like she was receiving a blood, you know, she's on the hospital bed getting a life-saving blood transfusion. And I, and our whole world is coming down, you know? And I think that, and they're like, reach out to this person, reach out to that person. I was not in a position to reach out to anyone. The only person at that point I had was my mom who was passing information on to the family. And I think having a limited, and, and sometimes maybe people do, um, maybe some people do want to be the one communicating with a lot of people. For me, I could not. And so having my mom be like the single point of contact to the rest of our family who was passing on that news. And then I had a dear, two dear friends here that were just setting everything up for us. And they asked me, Dini, do you, like, we want to help. Do you want this or do you want that? And sometimes I could articulate that like I knew. And sometimes I didn't know what I needed. Right. right. And so sometimes I think that um, it's helpful even just and I didn't want to burden people. Right. Like, I, you know, I people were doing so many incredible things for us and we feel like we don't want to be we don't want to burden them. And so we say, oh, it, it's OK. You know, and so I think if you're the person um, trying to help, you know, 
sure, of course, ask if there's something they need. But I think some even saying to, I'd like to bring you dinner this week, is this day or this day better, right? Like I'm bringing it, <laughs> you tell me when is good, right? But yeah. people would do things, uh, my friend would text me, I'm going to the grocery store, give me your list, you know, like what do you need so that I can pick it up for you? Or we had people just drop groceries on our doorstep. Um, I will tell you too, some of the, one of the things that was most, um, that I appreciated most too, was that people who thought about our other children, Liv was inundated with so many wonderful and thoughtful like gift bags. People brought us stuff in the hospital like that we, even just like a cozy blanket and like a warm sweater and things that for us personally, but people would also bring her gifts just to cheer her up. But the people who also thought about our other children and brought a little something for them um, or who asked if they could take them out to just go take them to a movie or go play at the park. Like, you know, it was a lot. It was a lot for our other kids too to process what was happening. And the focus was on live so much. And there was so much that they had to sacrifice um, that that was a huge blessing for us too, is those who kind of took care of all of us, you know? Yeah. Yes. Oh, that is so helpful. I think it reminds me of like, um, when someone, you know, they lost a loved one, don't just say, how can I help? But be specific and just be like, I'm, I'm stopping at target. I'm going to grab you this, this, and this, or do you need anything? Or yeah, like you said, um, you know, <laughs> bringing a sweater, bringing, bringing, <laughs> bringing, you know what I mean? Like, I think, um, cause you have to be paralyzed by uh, everything, you know, like, and you don't need, more decisions more make. decisions right yeah, yeah. and yeah. people also had mass offered for live we got a lot of cards that people who had mass offered for her or um <clears throat> things like that and that meant a lot to us too you know yeah oh that's beautiful that is so yeah. beautiful so helpful um <laughs> you know just today right how that story and that message, you know, will touch others because I think mm -hmm. sometimes like you have the best, I remember being a lot younger and you, you want to help, but like you just kind of needed a little direction yeah. and, and just you providing that I think is, is just, you know, it's... I hope so. And I mean, gosh, every family is different. You know, I'm very introverted too. So there might be other people that need to need to talk sometimes, you know, they just need an ear. Right. And Right. I needed space to process it all. <laughs> so yeah, Exactly. Um, and she's seven now, right? She just turned seven. Yes. Yeah, she rang the bell. Oh. She rang the bell. She's, um, she is in remission right now and she is in first grade and spunky as ever. And, um, we go in for monthly blood count, um, checks and for, we meet with her oncologist once a month for the first year. The next year it'll be every other month and then you know it'll kind of taper off as we go along until we're just down to an annual an annual checkup and we hope and pray that that's the way it continues to go but we're so grateful so grateful and you have the best boss on the planet oh my gosh i know i, I like i just can't even i just can't even it was god is so good and i have no idea how long i'll like I, this was not part of the plan right yeah so i mean not that i even had a plan i have learned you know <laughs> by now to just let all that go but right. um I, who knows how long i'll be doing this you know maybe it's only for a little while maybe it was really just for this period of time or maybe it's something that i'll do for a while we'll see but um god is faithful oh so, so beautiful i'm like for him to recognize your vocation and honor and just Oh, I was literally trying, like the first thing I should not do as your hired employee is ball my eyes out, but I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Thank you. <laughs> no. That's so beautiful. Oh. Anyway. Well, anyway. No, thank you so much for, for praying with us and, and sharing and inspiring. And um, yeah, just we'll be continuing to pray. Just so wonderful to have you. And okay. thank you with us again oh thank you so much for having me and i was trying to read some of the intentions while um we were praying and i'll just be praying for all of you this week thank you yes yeah, so beautiful thank you all right jill bye, bye. everyone <laughs>